Hello and welcome to the Wolf Among Us. This is episode. Hello and welcome to the Wolf Among Us. This is part two, and this is still episode one. I didn't actually explain it very well. Basically, this game is put up into like five episodes. This is episode one. Then we get released like every month to month and a half each episode, so they do come out quite quick. Thank the Lord, because it's quite an addictive storyline. Right, uh, the Bluebeard folder again. Yeah. Bluebeard's file. See stuff has been highlighted, scribbled out. Never trusted this guy. Hmm, that's something I have to note down perhaps. Let's keep looking around for a bit. What is this? Chinese food. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. You probably got smashed. I've got a fan. It's quite warm in here, so that should be quite useful. Apparently it's quite humid. Whoa, what the hell? One second. That's a pig. That's definitely a pig. Um, should we touch the pig? <laughs> should we touch Colin the pig? Or should we speak to Colin the pig? I'm going to touch him. Piggy! Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, get out. Yeah, get out. Oh, I feel so guilty now. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I'm going to take some that rest. That was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I was just hungry. Um, everyone hates me? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. Ouch. A bit of conversation? You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big? and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. 
Uh, sorry, it's beauty. There was a girl. Let's speak about the girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Ah, uh, get caught in the drink. Um. There we go, Colin. Thanks, Enjoy baby. it. That's just weird. So it's literally a wolf and a pig in a flat apartment. You couldn't really script that, could you? I'm guessing it's that girl. Mm. He really didn't get much sleep, did he? I was gonna open the door. Open sesame. Open, open, there we go. Oh, look at this sort of little tie up. Big B! Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm what is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Oh, so that's also the security guard's jacket. Um, I, I reckon it's that um, that fable, perhaps getting some revenge. I don't know. I seem a bit dodgy. Oh, what the hell? No. You knew this girl. Is. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Looks like in the mouth, isn't she? The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Ugh. 
I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Yeah, I definitely feel saw something in her mouth. What is that? What is? You like it out? You. It's the ribbon. A ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Alright, so we look at the um where the head was cut off. Strange cut. You. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Mm, I reckon magic. It's because it's she was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Aha, uh -huh. some blood marks. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Uh, investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Look for some more clues and stuff. Right. Um, so I've got a ring. Uh, there's some blood marks down here. Let's have a little look. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Hmm, an hour, okay. So that head's been there for a round of hour. Oh, dust's been. Oh, got some blood up there as well. What's this? Um, let's, let's touch it. Let's Bit of fabric, apparently. Fabric looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. It does not. Uh, what's in the bin? Just some loose trash. Uh, I can see small blood marks up here as well. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Hmm. Well, that means anything up there? Yep, more blood. <laughs> Just confirming Someone it. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Ah, okay. It all makes perfect sense now. Right, so the bins cleared. Um, let's see if we can see anything else. He's obviously jumped over there, come along here, dropped the head off. So he might have gone, might have escaped in the opposite direction, maybe. We could have a look. That girl was so sexy on her as well, wasn't she? She was like a sexy model. Uh, nothing over here, I don't think. I can see, I can just see legs, that's about it. We could try and go to the front gate, perhaps. A little bit of a nosy over there. Basically, trying to get as much clues as possible. Basically, that's going to help us out later on, so. Perhaps we've got to like, suss out who actually done it. The more clues and stuff we have, uh, the better. I think that's everything. What's um, that the fabric? It's all quite the fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did hmm. this happen? Why her? This is a this message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big P. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. 
placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. That's the agrees with me. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know uh, you don't like him, but he's our boss. This don't is tell him. part of the job. Don't tell him. It'll just complicate things. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. He's the mayor. Deputy mayor. The position's a joke. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. A flipping work, work here. here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. He's a charmer, isn't he? Jesus. What the hell is this place? Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Fuck you. I'll just go silent. <laughs> you would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I told you not to tell him. I know. I probably should have listened to you. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Uh, Crane's an asshole. Yes, he definitely an is. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? 
maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. All right, so that will end the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smack this video with a like, and I'll see you guys very, very soon for the next one. Bye-bye.